Hi everyone, welcome to Pet Expo Pet Talk. I'm Victoria and today we're here with Kristen, our dog and cat expert. guys, so there's lots of stuff on our table today that we're going to dive into um, for your cats at home. We have everything from like a clay based litter to a corn and walnut base to our paper and wood products as well. Okay, uh, let's start off over here. What are our benefits of these pellet litters? So if you do have a cat at home that has been recently spayed or neutered and you do need something that's going to be a little bit more clean and not, you know, dusty, then we have these paper and wood pellets for that. Okay, that sounds great. What about these guys in the middle? So the corn and walnut are great because if you do have a cat that's more sensitive to any of the dust or clay-based litters, that is a great, nice, tight, clumping litter to use as well. Perfect, and then onto clay. What's some benefits there? So my personal favorite is the clay because I love that it is a nice, tight clump as well. Um, usually low dust, we do have some other options that are dustier as well that maybe aren't as expensive, but these are a nice brand as well. Okay, does dust affect cats? Sometimes if you do have an older cat that has respiratory issues and that dust is an issue, I tend to kind of hang out more with my, you know, corn or walnut base or even my paper pellets. Okay, and then as for scent control, what would you recommend? You know, if you do have that smelly kitty at home, I tend to go more with a deodorizer from the Arm & Hammer or even if you have a kitten that needs more of an attractant to their litter box, we do have that as well. Well, there you have it, folks. Submit all your pet-related questions to our Facebook and then catch us next week on Pet Expo Pet Talk.